Because really, you are your best friend. You are your own lover. You have to love you in order for you to love me. You are despondent because you're constantly told that you should love yourself. You do not understand what it means to love yourself. You, you, you don't see the point in loving yourself. You take care of yourself. Well, I can show you how to do this. In this short video, I will explain to you the things you love is of self and how you do it. My name is Tessa Marie and welcome to my YouTube channel where you will learn the answers to life's true happiness and success. Subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when videos of this type are released. In this short video, I'm going to talk to you about loving yourself. Loving yourself starts the same way you would love somebody. A feeling of intense love and affection or a feeling of intense affection. You can do the same thing you do for somebody else. In loving yourself, you care about you, you're concerned about you, you make sacrifices for you, you do things to enhance you, you do things to make you feel better because these are the same things you would do if you are in love with someone. You will enhance them, you would love them, you would be intense about them, you'd be passionate, you'd be joyful in their presence, you'd be breathless in their presence, you would be so happy in the presence of that human being. That is what it is. So think of how you would feel if you were in love with someone or when you have been in love with someone. The way you reacted to them, you saw them, intense affection, smiles, joy. It's, it's like you cannot do without them. You would do anything for them. You would sacrifice for them. You would dance for them. You would do anything to make them happy. That's exactly what you need to transfer to yourself. Exactly what you would do to the significant other, your soulmate, the one you love and you love so much, that's what you do because really you are your best friend. You are your own lover. You have to love you in order for you to love me. I get it. You do not understand what it means to love yourself because it's not our fault. We were not taught to love ourselves. When we tried or when we made an effort or when we did love ourselves, we were told you we were narcissistic, we were selfish, we were self-centered, we were better than others, we were just too much. But how can I love you if I don't know how to love me? So that's why I am saying this is why it's un uncomfortable for you to understand what somebody says. You love yourself. Do things for yourself. Do exactly what you would do for this lover, this soulmate of yours, this dream lover. You know, all these love songs tell you these things. Take that same affection, toss it in a pot, put yourself in there and saturate yourself with that love. The love that you feel that you can give to somebody else, transfer it to you. So if you're doing something for you, you are going to do it to the best of your ability. You want to impress your lover and you happen to be the lover of you. So you need to impress you. If you want to be sensuous, then be sensuous when you're alone. If you're going to cream your body, spend time to do it and do it meticulously. Use the best for yourself. Eat the best. Dress the best. Wear the best. Fragrances that you love, this is what you do. You look at yourself and you, you do what you would like to do for somebody else. But guess what? You're doing it for you. So what, when you get into the habit of loving you and taking care of you and doing things for you, guess what that does for you? It prepares you to accept others. And when you get the opportunity to love somebody because you're so in love with you, you can share that same feeling to that person. And perhaps you can end up being the teacher. This is how you love yourself. You love yourself by doing, thinking, behaving in all the ways you would for another person, for somebody that you love, a lover, a sensuous being in your life. You become you. You become that sensuous being in your life. You love yourself. That's what you have to remember to do. If you have it in you to put yourself first, 
and love yourself and care for yourself, then you can do it for others. So what it is your friends are telling you to love you is to love you like you would love your lover.